In Odo, you can manage the process of your production through different work centers. This will help you to get a production step by step. First of all, let's configure it. Go to Settings, Configuration, Manufacturing, and tick Manage routings and work orders. Tick as well Allow detailed planning of work order. The first one will allow you to manage the routings and the work orders to have a step-by-step -step production. The second one will allow you to have a detailed planning of them. As you can see, there is new menus in your manufacturing modules. The first one is the work orders by resource. This will allow you to have a more detailed planning on your work orders. The second one is the routings and the third one is the work centers. A routing is composed by work centers. A routing will then define the production path along the work center. Let's now create a routing for the product table. To do so, click on Routings and create a new one. Give a name to it, for example, Table, and add the different work centers. We click first assembly the table and create on the fly the work center. Let's click on create and edit. Now you can see that there is different information you can put on the work center. First of all, to assemble my table I will select as resource type human. Then there is few information you should know. A cycle is the time to carry out an assembly operation. The capacity per cycle is the number of operations that can be done in parallel. Generally, it defines the number of machines, or in this case, human that are working in this work center. So for my table assembly, I will check capacity by cycle 2. Let's pretend there is two people working in this work center. And the time for one cycle will be 2 hours. There is no time before production, but let's assume we have a time of 4 hours after production. Let's save it. And let's create a new operation. Save a new. It's going to be the packing. I'm going to create a new work center on the fly, which is we do packing and then click on create and edit. I'm going to select also human as resource type. Now the capacity of a cycle will be 5, meaning there is 5 people working on that work center and the time for one cycle will be half an hour. There is no time before production and no time after production. Let's save it and save and close. So now I just created my first routing, which is composed by two operations, two work center, the table assembly and the voodoo packing. 
Now to use this routine, you just have to save it and assign it to a bill of material. So let's go to bill of material and select the table. Press edit and select the routine we just created. Again, save it. And now we are able to launch the manufacturing order through the right routine, which is a table. I'm going to create a new manufacturing order. Select the product. And as you can see, Odoo automatically sets the bill of material and the right routine. So now I can save it. If you want to compute your data, you can go on the tab Work Orders and click on Compute Data. So that you will see on which work order your manufacturing order will go through. So you have to assemble it and you have to pack it. If you go on the menu Work Orders, you can also see all the work orders which has to be done. So they are related to the manufacturing order 11, related to the product table, and there is two work order, one to assembly and the second one to pack. You can also see the number of ores which are required to proceed. This number of hours are taken from the information we did fill into the work orders. So let's go back to the manufacturing order 11. Here it is. and let's confirm the production. So we're going to check the availability of the components. And we are ready to produce. There is two ways to produce your product. Either you go on work orders and you do process them one by one. Here, you can mark them as started and you can mark them as done. Or you can also go on the work orders menu. I'm going to click on the first one and mark them as start in progress and done as well. So let's do it here. I'm going to start my first work order and I'm going to fish it, finish it. As you can see, Odoo will put the actual production date, the start date and the end date. I will go to the next one and do the same. If no, I come back to the manufacturing 11 you can see that the stage is done. So now you just did proceed your manufacturing orders through different work orders via your routine. To manage the planning of it, let's create a new one. I can select again the table, save and confirm the production. Now, let's go to work order by resource. Now you can see that the number 12 is planned here. That's for the global manufacturing order. And you can see the detail by resource. You can also adjust 
on the graph the time it will take but also move it to another date that's how you can manage the planning with the work orders